it is time good. for the Battle Pass trailer. The Riding Wolves. What? We've got old Darthy. we got a bit of Indiana. We've got the, the baller bear is back. Look at that thing. Oh, my God. It looks like a dream. I've heard that there are like these weird reality saplings that you can plant. So, obviously, as in the little word, we've caught our audience saplings. Uh, let's just pretend that's my inclusion in this season of Fortnite. Holy moly. Hello, everybody. I'm in the little wood, also known as Martin. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Fortnite. We're going to quickly go through the battle pass, even though it's been leaked to all ends of the earth um, before the actual servers have gone live. But that's just how it rolls on season launch day. The sword. Oh, it, you know what? It'd be sick. Is if every, every time you pull it out, you just go like that. You do a quick little, you know, the little pull that he did when he pulled it out uh, to get the blade going before. That would be sick. That would be really, really cool. Right, let's have a little nosy at this battle pass then. So we've got EV straight out the gate, which is lovely. Um, oh my word. Wait, have I got the... Oh no, this is all from the previous season. <laughs> Jeez, this is everything I've got from the previous season. I don't really know why it's giving me all of these, but it's fine. A butterfly clicking. I've played Bed Wars. I know what I'm doing. Are we good? Are we through? I think we're finished. Thank God for that. Right, let's go through this battle pass then. So, first and foremost, we have got Eevee looking pretty cool. For nine battle stars, you can grab yourself Snap. And it seems to me that Snap is the modular character for this season. So, basically, you'll be able to choose, like, the head, the arms, the torso, all that kind of stuff. And I'm sure we'll see that in just a moment. We've got a little little runaway, which... Is that supposed to be... Is that supposed to be Snap? I guess maybe it is. Um, we've got Eevee, who's rocking some jewelries as well, looking pretty nice. We've got the twin crossfires, which this immediately just thinks of the arcade for me. This is literally Time Crisis. The gun could be a bit more pink, but it's pretty close. Um, this is interesting. So, jewel gigantic blades for harvesting. I'm very intrigued to see how they swing, if I'm honest. The Syndicate. Ooh. Do you reckon maybe like Eevee might become the syndicate if we've if we've got talks already about the visitor like wanting to retire and stuff? Maybe like the syndicate steps in and Eevee becomes a main character in the seven. Who knows? Uh, we've got the syndicate Kotor. Kotor is that how you pronounce that? I've probably butchered it. Uh, we've got little Tova. Oh, so this was the thing that was running a moment ago. Freaks me out though because there's little eyes inside of there. So <laughs> this this is all just a shell. This is like some weird ghost Pokemon kind of vibed thing. Um, wow. Jeez, look at that Claymore. I mean, I just made, I was just about to make a Final Fantasy reference with like Vivi here. But yeah, this is some real Final Fantasy-esque blade. Jeez. What's this emote? Blowing up. Oh, it's just like a selfie. Fair. I love that. It's always there. I'm super happy. I've got to make sure that I get my tanks right. <laughs> it's just like a really, a really sudden and swift like change of like demeanor. Uh, we've got battle mode. That's pretty sick. So yeah, that weapon does seem to belong to Snap, which is good. Uh, kind of a, hey, forget about it. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, a couple of V-Bucks. We've got the banner icon as well, looking lovely. And the balance of two. Oh, I see the balances on each side. Very interesting. That just looks like a nerf gun though, doesn't it? Let's be honest. Like that there. That's a nerf gun top to bottom. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the articulated blade wing. Pretty standard. We've seen a lot of stuff like that previously. Uh, we've got Adira, who is looking really cool. One of Adira's outfits that we saw in the lookbook from yesterday looks very diva esque as in D.Va from Overwatch. So I'm intrigued to see how that works. <laughs> nice. Need a hand? Oh, no. It's a, it's a bring it. All right. Fair. Nice. Okay. I'm, I'm into it. Uh, pop it. Just as some of this stuff, I'm like, nah, that's not a pass from me. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just not. This is very, very cool. Look at that. That's like a proper, like, sketch of everything going on. I, I literally have to lean into the monitor to make out all the details of it. But we've got different characters flying in. But the battle bus kind of going sideways. That is a very busy scene. You've even got, like, the llama at the bottom. That's sick. I really, really like that. That's really cool. Now, I knew that this, like, battle pass was going to be stylish. But, man, like, look at that. A dragon rune lance. Like, that, that's, like, some, again, Final Fantasy stuff. This is, like, Final Fantasy fourteen. Maybe we get Urianje as, like, a character. That would be wild. Um, I love that. The dragon spirit spray. I'm well into that. We got uh, Adira and the dragon. Looking pretty cool. Um, there you go. There's a Rayquaza for you. <laughs> that is literally, that's a legendary Pokemon. Is this not supposed to be what was the legendary for, like, I don't know, for, like, Emerald or maybe even, like, next gen? That looks really cool. I'm guessing you probably stand on top of that, right? And ride the uh, ride the wave as you're going down. 
We've got Adira's Battle Flag at number 12. Don't know if there's any relevance to that number or that logo, but that would be interesting. And this is the very Diva-esque outfit, which is pretty cool. Um, what else have we got? Oh, we got this fella. We've got Stormfarer. This symbol... I'm going to try and commit that to memory. I wonder if that's going to be of any relevance this season. And then you've got Stormfarer just there. I wonder if these bandages are hiding anything in particular. I wonder if it's another snapshot of Jones that we're not supposed to know about just yet. Or whether it's just it's just a genuine styling. Got a cheeky little heart. Um, those blades are pretty cool. I love me some uh, some dual wielding uh, harvesting tools. That's sick. Ooh, okay. So we're going like kind of like synth wavy with it. I guess there was like a giant disco and there was all like the kind of the, the mushrooms and like kind of the music festival kind of vibe. So I'm here for it. I think that's pretty cool. We've got Stormfarer Strike as well. So it looks as though the outfit does flesh out a little bit more, which we'll see in a moment. Pretty basic glider. That's like literally like season one kind of glider vibes we're looking at here. The King's Oath. Oh yeah, of course this is for Malik. Malik, without a doubt, is the MVP of this battle pass. Like... I don't care about Darth Vader. Malik just looks so sick. Like, he really, really does. Look at that. That is ridiculous. Look at that Griffin. That is so cool. You got Griffin's Talon as well. The big shield with the, with the diamond sword. Let's have a look at what this is. It's finished. Oh, you know Sweats are going to be doing that as soon as, as soon as they pick up a Vic Roy. It's going to be like that for the first few weeks. Then they'll stop using it. Um, ooh, interesting. So Malik is in almost like some... It's, it reminds me of Transistor. You know the video game Transistor? It has that kind of vibe to it with a kind of sort of um, steampunky... Uh, sorry, cyberpunky kind of city with it. And then you've got another version of Storm uh, Fairer as well. I don't know how you meant to see out the front of that. Maybe he's got like... Got some kind of observation hacky. Got a really cool tree. I think that tree is supposed to be powered by the zero point, which is quite interesting. Uh, we got a nice little charge emote not too bad i'll be honest with you i don't think i ever really use emotes <clears throat> i use emotes as in like physical emotes but not emoticons i don't know if it's just me um we got actually they're really cool it's popping out the heels as well it looks very like kind of sort of sporadic and fragmented that's sick um and then we've got sabina oh wait is sabina the same character from up here it's not is it no that's adira yeah i thought they had different names so we've got sabina looking like Basically like Amory, <laughs> generic 2020s pop star. Um, literally pulling my hair out. A distressed emoticon. Uh, maybe I'll use that one at some point. Uh, we got the Gossama Shine. Some of the names of these things are, are wild. We got your next. That's a cool little. That's a cool little image. Um, that loading screen is mad. Look at that. That one I actually probably would equip and have it up for a while because I feel like every time I look at it, I would see something brand new. That's really, really cool. And then we've got the Shuriken Spinner. God. I, I We did see people who had Shuriken Star ones. I literally, I span a fidget spinner once, which was a metal one, um, and it broke a glass. But it was one of those, like, shatter glasses, so it just made this really deep pop sound, and just, I, w I was mortified. I didn't know what had just happened. I... <laughs> I completely panicked. Haven't touched the fidget spinner since. Uh, we've got Sabina with the uh, with the burning outfit as well, which is pretty cool. Seems to be a blade that accompanies it. Burning Ember. That looks really cool. What's this music? Oh, it's the lo-fi. So if you didn't know, basically the lo-fi music that played during the downtime uh, yesterday was apparently all procedurally generated. Much like Minecraft procedurally generates in its terrain and everything like that, this music was automatically generated. So that music had never been heard before and would never be created again. It was all happening automatically. Don't ask me how it works. It's some crazy, like, smart future tech um, but I just thought that was super impressive. I was really, really um, impressed by that. The whole like 10 hour video or however long it was is now up on YouTube as well if you wanted to go listen to it. Uh, Widow's Promise, pretty cool back bling, kind of feeling that. And we've got another version of Eevee as well. Got the uh, the school vibes going on. Uh, and then our first little teaser at Darth coming in as well. And then we've obviously got the spray just there as well. Lord Vader, Lord Vader. That's a bit slurpy. <laughs> it's kind of slurpy, but kind of not. It almost looks slightly raised like angular that's weird and then of course page 10 of the battle pass today is going to be darth vader he's ready to just pinch that neck of yours uh what else we got we got a viper probe that's pretty cool we got the darth shader i like that for the name of it that's actually pretty clean i could see a lot of people using that i think they'd be well into it is that glider oh it's got handlebars on the bottom that's fair i mean i don't think anybody wants to try and straddle that bit <laughs> i'd be a bit mad we got the imperial march nice that one's going to be used by like filmmakers and like you know sort of machinima people 
very frequently there's an intensity to it but it doesn't look too angry it's just stern you know what i mean and the march is pretty it's pretty clean as well um we've of course got the sith ascension which is pretty cool and then we've got vader's saber as an emoticon oh and also the glider as well sorry i missed that it's got a bunch of the uh the tie fighters very cool a little tie squadron on the go now is there anything else in the battle pass we want to look at so we've got the various different heads for um snap we've got olives with sticks in little sushi head feeling that uh we got of course, the tomato head, because why not? <laughs> we've got the Tekka snap. And then we've also got a broken toothbrush. Is, that, is anybody going to pick that? I don't know. And then we've got a weird pop top as well from like, I guess like a drinks, uh, drink bottle. This is so bizarre. There's clearly a bunch more that are available, but these don't appear for ages. So how do you do this? Oh, so you've got to find tokens everywhere. Oh God, that's going to be a million videos for me. To be honest, some of these combinations look really cool already. Like those arms, like those weird like sort of like multi-tool like razor arms are actually quite sick it's starting to look like an arms character the more we go on though skelly arms are looking pretty dope and then we've got the low-key trousers some commando ones then we've got a few more on the horizon and then of course we've got the ripped and jacked torso as well looking pretty good um so indiana jones is due sometime in the near future he's available in just over a month from now we've got the raider relics we've got the rogue archaeology again pretty cool it's a bit kind of like brass and kind of like worn down it's not too bad and then you've got a cheeky little uh I wonder, I wonder if tomato temple will come back if we've got the kind of tomato in indiana jones vibes i can see that happening and then beyond that we've obviously got the fortnite crew which this month which is going to be the uh, the mech robot that was shown off just previously and then we've got a couple of bonus rewards as well so we've got adira elite we've got malik midnight sentinel again another really cool variant on that ah oh, that one's going to be a fun one for sweats they're going to love that they're going to use that constantly if that comes in white every sweat will be using it although i think even less of the map is now covered in snow so maybe we'll start seeing a reduction in the amount of people using those but from what i can gather that is everything in the battle pass for the brand new chapter three season three kickoff let me know what you think to it in the comment section below i'm of course going to jump into the game right now and get all of your challenge videos that you're going to need help with all pulled together uh monks has apparently got a new version <laughs> because why not and there is your loading well i say loading screen lobby screen as well thank you so much for watching let me know what you reckon use code in the little wood in the item shop before you buy that battle pass you can go to item shop you can click on this button in the bottom right corner um and you can type in in the little wood you can hit save and then proceed with your purchase thanks for watching everybody see you in a bit Bye-bye.